This little girl was born unloved by her parents, simply because she was a girl. Every time they went out, they left her in the trunk, often forgetting her existence. But this little girl was a genius. At one year old, she could write her own name, at two she could brush her teeth, at three she could dress herself, and at four she could make her own breakfast. Matilda loved reading. In just days, she finished reading all the books in her house. One day, she gathered the courage to ask her father to buy her a book, but he refused. In the end, Matilda found the address of the library from a book. So, the next day, when her parents were not at home, she went to the library. There, she finally smiled. Every day after that, she would come to the library to read. Two years passed, and Matilda read more and more books. One day, her father asked her brother to calculate the money it had earned in the past few days, but her brother couldn't get it right. Surprisingly, Matilda calculated the answer in her head. Instead of praising her, her father exploded in anger because he couldn't stand anyone being smarter than him. He grabbed the little girl's ear and locked her in a small dark room. To retaliate, Matilda secretly poured superglue into her father's head. When he tried to take it off, it wouldn't budge. In frustration, her mother yanked the head off and he ended up losing his few remaining strands of hair. In that evening, frustrated by his misfortune, the father took out his anger on Matilda. Seeing Matilda still reading, he tore her book into pieces and forced her to watch mindless TV shows. At this moment, Matilda, hearing her family's laughter, had a sinister expression. The next second, the TV exploded. This father prohibited his daughter from reading, only allowing her to watch TV. He even pressed her head with his hands, preventing her from moving. When the daughter heard her family's laughter, her expression turned sinister. Then, with a burst of strength, the TV exploded. The girl seemed to realize something. Turns out, the girl was no ordinary person. She was a genius from a young age. At one, she could write her name. At two, she learned to dress herself. At three, she could cook. Her favorite activity was reading. However, her father despised her from childhood just because she was a girl. When he found out she could mentally calculate six-digit multiplication, he got even angrier because he couldn't tolerate anyone being smarter than him. To get rid of the trouble, he sent Matilda to a school. Thinking that a better life awaited her, she encountered a violent principal who solved problems with force. One day, just because the girl had a nice ponytail, the principal grabbed it, spun her around, and then threw her out. Discovering that a chubby boy had eaten her cake, she punished him by making him eat a whole big cake. In the end, he almost passed out, but with Matilda's encouragement, he finished it, infuriating the principal. Later, the students, to punish the principal, placed a lizard in her water bottle. Everyone laughed when she took a big gulp and discovered the lizard. Blaming Matilda for the prank, the principal scolded her. However, Matilda's gaze changed again. The next second, the little lizard in the water bottle jumped onto the principal, making her dance. This little girl, with a ponytail spun by the principal, was thrown like a dart. The principal here was ruthless and malicious. If she caught someone eating snacks in class, she would pinch their chin, treat it like a shot put, and throw it away. Moreover, if she got angry, she would lock students in a small dark room. Fortunately, there was a very kind teacher named Miss Honey. One day in class, the teacher discovered that Matilda could mentally calculate six-digit multiplication. She was astonished and wanted Matilda to be placed in a higher-level class. But the irritable principal didn't care about students' achievements and even kicked the teacher out. The teacher didn't give up and went to Matilda's father. She told them that Matilda was a genius and should be nurtured. However, what she got was the indifferent face of Matilda's father, which reminded Miss Honey of her past. It turns out the principal was her cousin. Her mother had passed away when she was young and she lived temporarily with her aunt and uncle. But after her father died, the principal kicked her out and inherited the school. Miss Honey could only become an ordinary teacher. After learning about that teacher's situation, Matilda decided to help her reclaim what was rightfully hers. In that evening, she went to the principal's rooftop, used her superpowers to blow away all the furniture, and moved the portrait of her deceased uncle back to the wall. At this moment, the principal thought her uncle had come back for revenge. She immediately moved out of the mansion and she even returned the principal's position to the female teacher. Under the guidance of the female teacher, the school returned to normal and became the best it could be.